Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies, beloved, and shout this loud and clear. Prophet Zechariah saw a vision. He shouted loud and clear. He said, This is wickedness. The prophet shouted loud and clear. Can you shout this now loud and clear? Association of wickedness. God that against me. Hear the word of the Lord. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to scatter that association. Scatter them by fire. Basente katende raba. Ribo soponde ke yabo shente raba kataraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my breakthroughs is not negotiable. I move forward by fire. My breakthrough is not negotiable. I move forward by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. It is not negotiable. Not negotiable. It is not negotiable. Ma se katende ke abo shende raba. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the power that destroyed Goliath. The power that promoted Joseph. Can I hear all the sisters shouting that loud? Let me hear the brothers roaring like thunder. Change my story by fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray father we thank you for a wonderful time like this we thank you because you're a great God and you do great things we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus we thank you for the victory that was won on Calvary we thank you because of your promise which says Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, open our understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Something great wonderful marvelous it's about to happen in somebody's life a transaction is about to take place that will change people's story forever to believe that letter amen be loud and clear the message of this money is to give you a small teaching on your assignment tonight we all have an assignment to perform tonight for ourselves, for our destinies for our nation and so this short message is called at midnight at midnight it will try and explain to you a little bit about the mystery of midnight prayer at midnight in Psalm 119 
verse 62. Psalm 119, verse 62. It says this. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment. In Acts of Apostles chapter 16, verse 25. Acts of Apostles chapter 16, verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners had them. Why did these two prayer warriors, David, Paul, why did they choose that hour? We'll try and explain a little bit. When you say night, night talks about darkness. Darkness is the absence of light. Darkness is the presence of blindness. Many are passing through their own spiritual night now. But I decree that the Lord will deliver you by fire. Night starts by sunset. Night is considered unsuitable for labor. Jesus said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night coming when no man can walk. Night is considered unsuitable for labor. Night is designed for rest. Night is also favorable to the purposes of the wicked. Wild beasts, dangerous animals go in search of prey in the night. Shepherds of the Bible knew this. That's why you find the Bible says, wild shepherds watch their flocks at night because of the dangerous animals and thieves at night. The night is a period of severe calamities. Why? Because there is the absence of light. Darkness is not a positive creature, but it's the consequence of the absence of the sun. Darkness is very uncomfortable. Darkness causes a man to expose himself to unconscious dangers. Darkness will cause a man to roam around and wander about thinking that he's on the road whereas he has missed the road. Darkness causes a man to stumble. Darkness is silent. There is silence in deep darkness. Darkness has binding powers. It limits activities. Darkness has divisive powers. It separates. Most human beings, beloved, therefore sleep at night when there is darkness. That night is when all that is evil, all that is unworthy of light, all that is wicked is let loose upon the earth. In darkness, your best friend may harm you without your knowledge. Because that, that's why the darkness is more conducive to satanic operation. The discos, the nightclubs, the bars, the bear palace, they prosper more at night. And most criminals prowl about in darkness. Most witchcraft meetings and the covens they meet at night. So mostly, iniquity flourishes in the dark. As somebody filters clean water, and that clean water is recommended for drinking, so is night also silent. Plenty of activities in the day create distractions, but in the night, all those things just vanish away. That's why when somebody begins to tarry in prayer at night, you can suspend all astral travels and throw spiritual stones and spanners at the works of the enemy. That's why that night is also the time to instill fear into your enemy through their own dreams and visions. During night prayers when your enemies are sleeping, you can pray a prayer of revelation from God. Or you can pray a prayer that can throw their own dreams too into disarray. This is the mystery of the night. The spirit of a sleeping man is weak and harmless. It's like an experience of death. The devil knows this. And he capitalizes on the weaknesses of people to undo them at night. 
But if you understand the principles, you can wage war correctly and get things to begin to happen. There are millions and millions of spirits moving about in darkness. Marine powers, witchcraft powers, familiar spirits, wandering spirits, forest spirits, evil angels, satanic agents, wicked personalities on evil assignments, occultic powers, spirit wives, spirit husbands, ancestral strong men, ancestral spirits, powers from the moon that smites by night, terror by night, pestilence that walketh in darkness, recruitment agents for Satan, dream manipulators, diviners, night caterers. All these are forces. Immediately, it is their time they start moving. Most working place, they have some working hours, maybe 9 to 5 or 8 to 4. So that's why when you utilize your midnight hours in prayer, things begin to happen. Praying at midnight is highly spiritual, highly strategic in warfare. The hours between 12 midnight and 3 a.m. are hours in which a high traffic of business is transacted in the spirit realm. So if you have serious business to transact in the spirit realm, that 12 to 3 is the best time. And that's why as you read your Bible and you begin to follow it, you find plenty of midnight deliverance in the Bible. Deliverance at midnight. So if you effectively utilize this hour, you will also experience a breakthrough. You don't have to pray from 12 to 3. No. Even if it's only 15 minutes, and start 12 dots. When you have serious spiritual business to transact, 12 dots you start. Pray for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 1 hour. It's okay. If you're able to do that one. In the book of Exodus, chapter 11, verse 4, all these principles are well laid out in scripture. Exodus chapter 11, verse 4. We have plenty of scripture to look through. Exodus 11, 4. Are you there? And Moses said, Thus said the Lord, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt. Why is the Almighty picking that hour? The same thing in Exodus chapter 12, verse 29. Exodus 12, 29. And it came to pass that at what time? Midnight. The Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of cattle. So the midnight, beloved, is a time of freedom. A time of breaking bondages. And releasing yourself from the prison of the taskmaster. I am believing God that somebody in this service this morning will receive total deliverance as a result of these midnight prayers. In Judges chapter 16, Judges chapter 16, please follow me very quickly because of our time. Judges 16, verse 3. And Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight. And took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts, and he went away with them, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders and carried them up to the top of the hill that is before Hebron. You too have to follow Samson's example. You to open up for the Holy Spirit to fill you at midnight, so that you too can uproot the gates of the enemy and their strongholds. So if you want prayer that will have a huge impact on the enemy, start midnight. I see somebody here today too, that as a result of your midnight battle, your Goliath shall be destroyed. If you go a little bit further and you go to the book of Ruth, you find Ruth after that judges. Ruth chapter 3 verse 8. Ruth discovered her husband at midnight. So the midnight is the best time to pray for marriage. You want to get married? The midnight is the best time to stand up and begin to pray that God should give you a good wife or a good husband. Those desiring good wives, good husband, the midnight is the time to discover your spouse. Ruth 3 8. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself 
and behold a woman laid at his feet at midnight time to pray for marriage if you go to Psalm 119 that we've read before Psalm 119 verse 62 119 62 do you want to offer the kind of praises that will make heavens to shake praise God starting at midnight Psalm 119 verse 62 Say, at midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment so if you want God to intervene in your situation utilize midnight hour for praise and worship by so doing you cannot lose a single battle you try it and see in acts of apostles chapter 16 that we've read before acts 16 verse 25 acts 16 25 and at midnight paul and silas prayed and sang praises unto god they were not quiet about it the bible says and the prisoners had them so the midnight is a time of release from every prison Paul and Silas were in physical prison but their being kept there was engineered by the enemy when they now utilize the mystery of midnight hours in prayer and praises God initiated an earthquake that opened prison doors and loosened their chains without collapsing the structures if there is anyone who is chained in any spiritual prison and I tell you that spiritual prison is the worst imprisonment. Midnight prayers shall certainly shatter the chains. Not only that, it will initiate the earthquake of deliverance that will set you free. In the book of Job, chapter 34, Job 34, verse 20. Job 34, 20. He says in a moment shall they die and the people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty shall be taken away without hand midnight is a hour for you to destroy the destroyer the bible says the mighty shall be taken away without hand at midnight this means that despite they are defending themselves, despite hiding themselves, as you apply the mystery of midnight prayers, God will set you free and destroy the stronghold of the mighty. Believers don't run away from people threatening them or issuing threats. Rather, they gather at midnight to deal with them. Once you get up at midnight and you raise an altar to God, and your altar begins to speak, woe befalls any power of the night that has gathered against you at that hour i want you to understand this mystery in matthew chapter 25 matthew 25 verse 6 matthew 25 verse 6 it says this and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom comet go ye out to meet him midnight is the time for all believers to continually assess their spiritual lives because Jesus the bridegroom may come at an hour unknown and unexpected this can happen at midnight whatever storm of life has struck the boat of your destiny and caused you to roam about aimlessly when you begin to connect to the mystery of midnight hour whatever you are seeking for whether marriage business or is in your academics things begin to happen and I'm praying for somebody here and any power that is using the night to steal from you shall be buried alive here this morning let your amen be loud and clear let your amen roar like thunder in Luke chapter 11 Luke chapter 11 verse 5 Luke 11 5 and he said unto them which of you shall have a friend and shall go to him at midnight and say unto him friend lend me three loaves midnight is the hour of asking seeking knocking the doors when you petition heaven at this hour things begin to happen no wonder the bible says this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night midnight is the time to meditate on the word of god to locate the relevant scriptures and begin to meditate midnight that midnight watch 
from 12 to 3 is a period that is very weak in the realm of the bond woman for they don't pray at that time so if you have been harassed by children of the bond woman midnight to 3 then you start the battle too I pray that as many warfares are waged against you or anyone here for the bible says, while men slept his enemies came every night warfare that has prospered in anyone's life here shall be dismantled in the name of Jesus let your amen be loud and clear the best time to catch a thief is when the thief is in the act in 1st Kings chapter 3 verse 20 1st Kings 3 20 you will recall this story it was at midnight that the woman stole the other woman's baby 1st Kings 3 20 and she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while the unmaid slept and laid this in her bosom and laid a dead child in my bosom that was when that evil was carried out so the enemy also locates midnight to cause trouble but thank God the same midnight is a midnight for slaying it was in the night the angel of God came and slew all the forces of the Assyrians from Sinakeru and destroyed 185,000 of the powers of the enemy at the time of the night I pray that today as we all go into these prayer battles that the hand of the living God will arise for the sake of everyone here to give a powerful breakthrough raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this louder than anyone around you powers of the night assigned to disgrace me I bury you now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it in Jesus name we pray let's go on a little bit further in 2nd Kings chapter 6 2nd Kings chapter 6 verse 13 2nd Kings chapter 6 verse 13 says and he said go and spy where he is that I may send and fetch him and it was told him saying behold he is in Dothan therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and great oaths and they came by night and compassed the city about when the king of Syria wanted to arrest Elisha he did not come during the day he came at night as far as the kingdom of darkness too is concerned the night is their meeting time is their conference time it is when they meet to deliver their reports to deliberate and strategize to make evil reports to decide who to destroy and who to allow to live it is the time they plan to destroy destinies of people including Christians it is the time to renew their evil covenants and renew their evil altars it is the time they supervise their burdens and supervise the punishment they are going to give to others the night is the working hour of all the witch doctors and the native doctors they just carry out what they've done in the night in the day it is what they've perfected in the night they begin to operate in the day the night is their working hours no wonder the bible says while men slept his enemies came this is the time they destroy the destiny of people i'm praying for somebody here this morning that every satanic activity against you in the night shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus if at the time they have called a COVID meeting and they are discussing your matter if it's at that hour you now stand up and raise an altar to God and begin to pray confusion comes into the COVID and they scatter most times we begin to pray when the meeting has been held decisions have been taken and we didn't stop it They've started their meeting at 12 midnight. They've finished at 3 a.m. They've taken their decision. And you now begin to pray next day at 9 a.m. in the morning. That is when they've already passed their decisions. But if at the particular hour they were in that meeting and they're mentioning your name and you begin to pray that let my name become thunder to scatter the camp of the enemy. So you should not underestimate the power of the midnight battles. 
That time is the hour to tame every satanic lion and disgrace every power that is bent on disgracing you. Therefore, beloved, we all have a serious assignment to carry out tonight. If you need to put on your alarm clock, you better put it on. At 12 midnight tonight, everyone present in this service here now that wants to experience the God of breakthrough and you want the uncommon testimonies to be your lot and you want to suffocate the camp of the enemy unto desolation 12 midnight lights up even if it's only for 20 minutes take these prophetic prayers you have been given today it's in your hand now or collect from the ushers if you don't have and pray through these prayers within 12 and 1 start at 12 midnight prompt all those visitors who roam around people's houses at 12 midnight tell them to go away because of this when it's a few minutes to 12 switch off your phone so that the phone will not disturb your life then don't kneel down you will slip off remain standing remain standing as you run through the 21 prayers here seriously and aggressively and then watch what will begin to unfold after this particular prophetic prayers this year it is dangerous to accept nonsense from the enemy and that is why we are doing this now midnight prayers within 12 and 1 15 minutes 20 minutes it's okay if you want to do it for one hour it's okay but the prayers are in your hand now glory be to the name of jesus this is where i've taken the trouble to take you through the scriptures so you know the scriptural are backing for the battle we're about to do we are in a position to change our world we're in a position to command our story to change we have the greatest weapon weapon of prayer if we don't use it then it is our fault i shared something that many years back many of you will have had me sharing it a man made 26 million naira profit in july by december he had 6000 naira left he came to me for prayers that time the counselor who was there just auditorium a he explained to me what was happening i said let us pray as i closed my eyes in prayer the lord said son don't pray for this man ask him to go and bring all his juju here tell him to bring his fetish powers here so i said mr man we are not going to pray now bring your juju your fetish powers here the man started to laugh he laughed and laughed and laughed and fell down from his seat by the time he stopped laughing he looked at me and said man of god he asked me to bring my juju here so the reason i'm laughing is because i will need a trailer to bring them here so, trailer yeah he's an educated nigerian he's not an illiterate and i said okay go and bring the most powerful one here he thought for a few seconds said okay jumped out entered his jeep and drove off to is it banana island or what do they call that island somewhere and he came back later with a bottle inside that bottle was a cobra snake half filled with concussion i said ah, what do you do with this uh, snake water he said i drink it you drink snake water he said yes he said, but why so don't you know the cobra the cobra is the king of snakes so when i drink this snake water when i talk to anybody they must listen to me when i say bring check they bring check bring money they bring money that is a child of the devil if this snake man wants a contract and you as a child of god you want the same contract and the snake man does his homework well he drank his snake water but you a child of god who has a weapon of prayer Father, in the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you. Ah, thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What is going to happen? The scenario that will play out will be this. He will get the contract and the child of God who has weapon he refuses to use will not get anything. We have the weapon of prayer and it's the greatest force in the universe. Rise up on your feet now. What time are we praying this prayer tonight? Put down your alarm clock if you if you know you want to fall asleep. It is dangerous to start it after twelve. It's twelve midnight. All eyes closed. I want to pray some prayers now. 
and I want your amen to roar like fire and like thunder. As I pray those prayers, the power of God shall begin to move from person to person. The first prayer I want you to pray will cause deliverance. The first prayer I'm going to pray will cause deliverance for those who have evil things in their dream transferred to life. All of a sudden, as the prayer is going on, a personality will work out. As I continue to pray these prayers, there are people here this morning who have come with one infirmity or the other. A hand from heaven will touch that place. And the healing power of God will deliver you completely. And that which you were unable to do before you got here, you begin to do so. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you because you are a God that answered prayer. For your word says, all thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Father, I pray that as many people as are here this morning and the powers of the night have been troubling your dream life and the powers of the night have been stealing from you and the powers of the night have stolen your destiny stolen your virtues right there where you are in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ is son of the living God receive your deliverance now receive it 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 in the name of Jesus that's right that's the power of God coming upon you something is happening to you over there that's right that's the power of God every wicked mark put on your forehead in the night let the blood of Jesus begin to wipe them off in the name of Jesus the swelling in the neck the one in the armpit the one inside the throat the one inside the nostril the one inside the womb the one on the backbone by the power of the Holy Ghost I command you to receive your healing now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus if you have any sickness on your body lay your hands there now all the forces of Goliath the forces of Herod the forces of Sambalat and Tobiah troubling the body of anyone here the spirits of infirmity I bind you now and I cast you out get out and enter no more get out enter no more get out enter no more get out and 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 enter no more in the name of Jesus silence now beloved that sister over there you have been seeing yourself being pursued being harassed being tormented and afflicted right there where you are the blood of Jesus is being poured upon you to remove you from the cage of torment yes that's the power of God coming upon that's right you long term problems long term infirmity long term condition 
he had the word of the Lord it is written that every tree that my father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire I command you to disappear receive your deliverance receive it 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 in the name of Jesus every power that has been blocking the way of your complete joy I command the powers to scatter in the name of Jesus receive your testimony by the power in the blood of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of Jesus and every power that does not want to let you go I command the power to be disgraced in the name of Jesus silence now beloved you the powers moving about in the body causing discomfort I cut off your power in the name of Jesus aha that's right all the heaviness in the legs the heaviness in the neck region the pain in the head the migraine the breathing difficulties I bind your power in the name of Jesus aha thank you Jesus thank you Jesus if you brought any sickness here check your body now do what you are not able to do before do it now check your body very well I don't want the devil to put the problem back on you so once you check your body and you discover that you have been healed quickly find a way to the altar here I didn't say you should come out if you want prayer no 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 you check your body you, you brought a condition here it has vanished find a way quickly to the altar here don't let the devil put, that, put back the problem everybody will now shout this loud and clear please this is not a day to negotiate powers of the night troubling my habitation can you shout this loud and clear in the name of Jesus Makato Sopola Kaya Boshandara Descende Kaya Boshentera Bokopola Baraba Bakata Sateka Dasente Di Kalaba Bada Ribo Soponde Kaya Boshanda Mana Kaponde Kesa Ribo Sopia Likatanda Yaba Aha 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 In Jesus Dem We Pray something is coming out of somebody's womb he was the enemy that put it there in the dream yes that's the fire of god burning in that womb let's be released from that bondage right now every power searching for my face in demonic mirrors can you shout that loud and clear your time is up in the name of jesus somebody is supposed to pray this one with violence don't keep quiet. Basikate sependa ke ya boshanta. Aha, 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 aha. Yes.
Masakaya Bushendera Boko Sentera Ba. Just Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this week, every day of this week, will bring you mighty testimonies. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? We cut nights of the night. A sign against my life. Expire. In the name of Jesus. Command the wickedness of the night to expire. Something must happen in your life today. Jesus. Jesus. Aha. 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 Every load of darkness, every luggage of darkness in anybody's body, in the soul, in the spirit, catch fire, 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 catch fire. Aha. In Jesus name we pray. Aha. Tonight my father provoke your violent angels to fight for me. Can I hear the sister saying that one? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud and clear. I think the sister should try a little bit more tonight. Let me hear the brothers roar like thunder. Let your voice roar like thunder, brothers. Everybody should get that out. In the name of Jesus. Baseta kapola kandera basanda. Enough is enough. There must be a fight. The violent angels of God must fight for you. Jesus name we pray say tonight every witchcraft bird fly against me shut down in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray that sister who has been having trouble in the breast check it very well because the arrow has gone back to the senders don't allow the devil to put it back on you find a way to the altar very quickly that's right the powers that have been sitting on your backbone and physically pressing your womb look at what is happening now that evil hand has withered. <laughs> Father, I thank you for your children that you have healed. I cover their testimony with the blood of Jesus. Cover their miracles with the blood of Jesus. Your word says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. By the word of your testimony, you are set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat now unless you have a testimony to share with us. Those of you with testimony, remain where you are. That's right. But don't hide what God has done for you so that the enemy will not bring it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Three prayers. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came with violence and with fire. Please don't negotiate with these prayers. Every enemy that came while I was sleeping, your time is up. In the name of Jesus, pray this prayer, beloved. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That person that came out with the issue of blood, go and check your body now. That evil flow has stopped. There's somebody here today who you quite a large sum of money. The last one I should tell you that before next Sunday, they shall pay up what they are owing you. That's right. Say this again loud and clear. Pharaoh of my father's house, sink in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Command the Pharaoh to sink. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now with your two hands raised up, you will now decree this. Anti-prosperity chains. My hand is not your candidate. Break! In the name of Jesus. Break it! Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. As we round our prayers, sing this song loud and clear. Then sings my soul. My say we are God to be how great thou how great thou my soul. Your God, you be a great thou art, great thou art, how great you are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. We praise your name, Jehovah. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. 
I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. One more time, you are the awesome God, you are the awesome God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are you are you are praise your name. Before you leave this holy ground, I want you to begin to speak into the womb of this week. That whatsoever is going to deliver must favor your destiny. Begin to speak now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.